One of Netflix's latest crime dramas, The Takeover draws you into the world of hacking. The film is a fast-paced thriller packed with criminal organizations and evil British villains. Apart from some logic lapses and a few cliches, the film is an easy choice for a cozy movie night with takeout. The story follows an ethical hacker by the name of Mel, who stumbles across ill-intentioned software codes and is then chased around by the evil hackers across Water Dam. Everything in the takeover is superficial, and there is hardly anything to take away from the film, but it holds fairly simple value if watched solely for non-mind-boggling entertainment. But what really is the film about? Are you wondering what that ending actually means? If it tells more than what we saw, or if it's already everything that the movie wanted to relay? Here's everything you might be pondering about in The Takeover's ending. But of course, before anything else, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and you smash that notification bell for more updates on this. Now, let's dive in. Who is Buddy? When we meet Buddy right at the start of the takeover, he appears to be a technological expert and a hacker. He helps the Dutch military track down the 16-year-old Mel, who had hacked into the military system, from her apparent wonder and fascination towards him when she meets Buddy. It is evident that he must be a renowned name in the world of ethical hacking. Later in the story, we learn that Buddy and Mel were partners in ethical hacking who had recently fallen out. They aim to take down immoral companies that wanted to profit from others' losses. The money they stole in the process had been decided to be given away as charity to the ones in need of it. In one occasion, Mel found that Buddy had kept the money for himself instead of donating it. This angered her, and she ended up reporting him to the police. Since then, Buddy had gone into hiding. However, when Mel calls him for help while on the run, he turns up in his car and takes Mel and Thomas into a safe house. Once there, Buddy helps them understand the connection between the morphed video of Mel going viral and the bad guys chasing after her. When the bad guys attack this place, Buddy helps Thomas and Mel run away while he succumbs to the enemy's bullet. In the final scenes, a previously recorded video message from Buddy pops up on Mel's laptop as a farewell message declaring his love for her. He confesses that the money he had kept away from himself was to build a proper working space with the requisite resources for Mel so that, in the future, she could help up with her practice of ethical hacking. He was a father figure and mentor to Mel's life till the end. Why is Mel running from the police hackers? When Mel approached the Rotramax company's newly launched self-driven bus, it scanned her face using a facial recognition technology that belonged to its partner company, Xiaoming. This technology was implemented in the bus to help detect any passenger on board who could be a threat to public safety. However, the same technology had created a data leak in the code, helping all this public data trickle into the database of the company and ultimately to the coffers of the Chinese government. Mel had spotted this bug in the system and left a Trojan horse virus to stop this unwarranted data breach. This had put a pause on the partner company's vested interest. Hence, the hackers working for Xiaoming had used Mel's facial imprint to morph a video of homicide. The police received this video and set out to arrest Mel for the crime. Besides, they had also employed two bad guys, criminals or hackers, under the leadership of a British man, Rogers, to personally track her down and avenge the loss they were suffering because of her actions. This is why the police and the bad guys were trying to track down Mel, who was on the run. How does Thomas Dean help Mel in the movie? Thomas Dean is a simpleton who barely has any idea about the complex world of coding or ethical hacking. It is evident from the unsophisticated eating etiquette that disenchants Mel on the night of their dinner date. However, Mel retraces her steps to his house when she is on the run from the bad guys. Dean, thereafter, becomes involved in this chase. He tells Mel, despite seeing the video being telecast, that he trusts her not to do something like that and helps her flee. He drives her back and forth from Rotterdam, and they decide to meet Buddy, her fellow hacker. During the climax of the takeover, he also riskily transfers himself from his car to the speeding Rotramax bus. Following Mel's instructions to grant her access to the bus's server and stop it from a deadly accident, there's a hint of a romantic relationship developing between the two as they navigate this chase. 
How does Mel prove her innocence? Eventually, the bad British Roger kills Buddy. The Mel's lover boy is captured by the police. Mel flees to go back and re-enter and re-hack the company she did at the beginning to find the evidence to exploit them to prove her innocence. While hacking, she is found by Rogers, who points a gun to her head. In true Maverick style, she manages to escape and run away. Only towards the end do we have a small fight before Mel is captured. Rogers begins to shoot at the computers in the server room, causing the servers to crash and the driverless buses on the street to malfunction, putting people's lives at risk. Mel takes the police to prove her innocence and then attempts to hack into the bus to stop it from running. Thomas becomes the action hero we needed and wanted in this film, as he steals Buddy's car and hijacks the bus to help slow it down and stop it before it reaches the river. Together, they manage to stop the bus and save everyone. The final scene sees Mel working on her laptop, getting a message from Buddy, which is automated, if he's not online for three days, which means he's probably dead. Buddy is telling her he's proud of her and wants her to change the world. Mel and Thomas sit by the river. Mel puts her arm around him, then challenges him to three more laps. They run off camera and we cut to the credits. The takeover ending explained. This film does have a strong female protagonist who begins the film being independent and driven. And even when helped by other male characters in proving her innocence, the character doesn't lose these qualities. Mel is helped by a man who she once outsmarted and then by a dumb guy she ran out on on their first date. This is smart, although in the end, it doesn't feel as if her character learned or developed into anything. Her story arc was quite poor. The ending of the takeover has the drama and action we needed from the start, and as well as saving herself, Mel is able to save the lives of innocent victims, making her a true nerdy hero. After this, she is able to go back to her life, trying to make the world a better place by hacking. This film does make hacking seem more positive and something that can have a good influence on the world, which is not the way in which we've viewed and been shown hackers in the past. The whole film is a cat and mouse chase, the focus being on the running rather than the hacking itself. The ending is a happy one, with Mel clearing her name and making a new friend. Will there be a takeover too? Currently, there has been no official news about a sequel for The Takeover. There are a lot of different factors to consider, from the number of views and popularity of the film to the cast's availability and the production house's decision, so it can be a while before a decision is made. What could The Takeover 2 be about? Should there be a sequel, The Takeover 2 could go in a number of directions. The final scene leaves Mel with the vast network that Buddy built and left for her. He mentions in his pre-recorded video message that she can use it to change the world. She could take on multinationals, billionaires, and even corrupt government agents. The Takeover 2 could pick up any of these storylines and give us another enjoyable thriller. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more episodes.